something about filming earlier enough in the day that you get natural lighting is just, just beautiful. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claire, if you're new here. It's so nice that you're here, hello. Today, uh, not about books. <laughs> We're going to talk about packing for college because that's what I've gotta do. I'm actually very far behind because I got my days wrong. I thought that it would be really helpful to do a packing list for Spelman, but also it kind of goes for every school. Did I say that? I go to Spelman. It'll be universal, I think. It's really not. There's some specifics, but it's mainly universal. Was here my first semester, second semester. I had a whole room to myself. Now I have a roommate, um, but I think that it's kind of the same. I don't know. We've all. Starting with room means a portable lamp with a clip. When I say that, this is what I mean. This is the kind of thing that I mean. Um, it was really helpful for my room and and it was also really helpful because I read a lot, so I had this on my bed frame, but also sometimes I had readings for class and I didn't want to keep sitting at my desk while I was doing homework. I would read in my bed and I didn't want to keep my overhead light on, so I could just have that on. And this one came with like um, the orange light that's better on your eyes, so I recommend if you get a lamp, get the one with that light. Uh, yeah, I would say a mini trash can because sometimes rooms don't come with trash cans. I don't think mine did. Mine did not. Um, and I was an LLC one. So um, bring a trash can. Don't anticipate that you'll have your own. Um, for storage, I would recommend bins or a trunk. I have a trunk and it's very helpful. Um, bins work as well. Just some type of place to have underneath your bed or next to your closet or in your closet or something like that just for like your winter clothes. I wouldn't suggest bringing your winter clothes just yet. Well, okay, uh, November, December can get cold, but like you don't need it in August. So you don't need it to be taking up your closet space because you're gonna be sharing half a room unless you're in the suites. So uh, bring a trunk for your excess clothes. Um, a fan, if you're an LLC one, LLC one, McAlpin, the suites, you'll have air conditioning, LLC two also, but freshman dorms, I, well, you might have air conditioning now, but you didn't before. And in, even with air conditioning, it gets so hot. So you should bring a fan, a portable fan, um, because again, don't rely on having one. And also the windows sometimes don't close for kind of like stationary type things. I had a um, bulletin board, whiteboard mixture board. So it was like half bulletin, half whiteboard. And I had push pins to put uh, materials up that I needed. I would highly recommend a whiteboard calendar or just a calendar, just having the days up was very, very helpful and having a place to write down like my long-term stuff. So not just homework for my day-to-day, -day, but um, like if I had a meeting or if a Zoom time was changed, like that was really important to have up in my room. So I would highly recommend that. Command strips or picture putty. So for, I I don't know what the name is, like tack. It's like the tacky stuff for pictures. I had a lot of pictures up. Taping is not a good idea. It'll rip the paint right off with it. So the putty was really helpful for pictures and command strips. I had my posters on, just slipped them right off and it was very easy to take off when I had to leave my dorm. You have a lot of wall space, at least in LLC one and LLC two. You have a lot of wall space and you also have a lot of wall space in the suites. And so I would say to bring a lot of like posters and stuff because because the walls are white and I think it's kind of sad sometimes. And so I brought a lot of posters and pictures of my family and it really made it feel like a home. It was really nice. So I would always recommend that. For like linens and laundry. Um, so sheets, the beds are twin XL. Yeah, they're twin XL. So you should have two sets of sheets um, at least. You can bring three sets, I guess, but two sets work perfectly flat. what I just step on? I would say three sets of towels, to, I guess two at least, but I had three. Body towel, hand towel, face towel, yeah. Two pillows, throw pillows if you want, but I had two pillows, one for my back, one for my face. I did have extra blankets. I brought a thermal blanket because it was spring semester. Not sure if you'll need it for fall semester, but I just get really cold at night. Anemia. I did a duvet because then you could just take the filling out, wash the duvet. It is so much easier than washing a comforter, in my opinion. Clothing hangers, oh my gosh. Get more clothing hangers than you're gonna anticipate because I did some shopping with my friends, um, hung up more things than I thought I was going to, like nicer tops and stuff like that. So anticipate needing more clothing hangers than you're gonna initially 
assume. Like, so if you think you're gonna need 30, get 40, that kind of thing. So then a laundry bag or a laundry basket, mine had wheels and that was really helpful. Some people have like laundry backpacks, that was cool. Um, just something that is easy to take down the hall to your laundry room. Um, LLC one, there's only one laundry room, it's on the third floor, so sometimes it's a distance for some people. And LLC two, I think there is a laundry room on every floor, so it's a bit more convenient. And for the suites, it's also on every floor. Laundry detergent they just don't have it for you you need to bring your own so i did tide pods um some people had liquid detergent but tide pods is kind of easy stress-free just pop it in do not put it in the slider thing just put it in with your clothes come on stain remover a tide stick you spill on yourself way more than you're gonna think bring a tide stick i'm just letting you know now i got a white top and i no longer have a white top so Tide stick. Safety pins, like a mini sewing kit. Bring like a mini sewing kit, safety pins, that kind of thing. Because there are so many times where I'm like, wow, this top would be so cute if I could just like, you know, <laughs> office supplies. I forgot about like notebooks and stuff because I was so excited to move that I didn't get notebooks until the very last minute. So I got a notebook for each of my classes. I didn't end up using all of them, but you're gonna use them at some point. So I would say, it's okay to have more notebooks because you're just gonna use them next semester and next year. So get at least one for each of your classes. I got ones with like folders in them, loosely paper. I don't really have a preference over composition notebooks or spiral. <laughs> uh, I don't really have a preference, that's really up to you. Stapler, I didn't think that I was gonna need a stapler, but I surely used one. I didn't bring a printer, um, I just went to the library. It was 10 cents per print and then 30 cents for color. I just ate that charge. I didn't really want a whole printer, it's a lot to set up and I didn't have the room for it in my room anyways. Um, so at least at Spelman, just go to Woodruff, print it out. It's not that big of a deal. Library card is not that hard to get. Um, in my opinion. And I'm pretty sure you can print in the Science Center. I just am shy and I didn't want to ask. <laughs> These paper mate pencils, it's not, I use mechanical pencils, but for um, pens, I use the Sharpie S gel. Index cards. I don't like studying on a computer. I just don't. Um, so I, index cards are really helpful for me to hold while I was studying instead of relying on my laptop. I just retain information better that way. So I did use index cards. I did use sticky notes. Sticky notes are very valuable and tabby things. These from, um, I don't know, CVS, Walgreens, Best Buy, whatever. These are really helpful, like tabs, especially for an English major who annotates everything. Rubber bands, tape, Glue, glue sticks, Elmer's, hello. Stamps, get stamps. I'm just telling you right now, get stamps. Highlighters, highlighters, absolutely. And erasers, just like the block erasers, yeah. As for electronics, I guess a laptop is the obvious thing to say. Printer is super optional. Um, a portable speaker is obviously optional, but I'm buying one for this semester because we're outside just hanging out. People are always like, oh, someone play music, and I never have the speaker. Um, so I'm gonna get my own, but someone always has one, so it's not that really big of a deal. Charger, obviously. Um, get a portable charger, get one. You hate to always be trying to find an outlet in a wall. Just get a portable charger that's reliable. Mine died three days into the semester and just never charged again. Get one of these if you have a MacBook Pro because there's no HDMI port. So this is like the well, okay, well this one's the one for my SD card. This is the one that I put in my laptop when I edit videos. But get like the lightning adapter for um, that, that goes in for an HDMI port because I think when we start in-person classes, if you're gonna have to present, you need an HDMI port, so yeah. Get a storage protector for your room. An extension cord also. I got an extension cord that had like five outlets on it and I would just 1000% recommend that because you'd be really surprised how many things you charge at once. Obviously, some of us are gonna have roommates. I am one of them. Except my roommate's my friend. Hi, Lilia. For shared items, you guys definitely want to talk in advance before you get to the room. Um, so like shared things, a Swiffer, a vacuum, Absolutely, God, you need a Swiffer in a vacuum. Um, TV, I guess, I don't know. I, th I guess she's bringing one, I don't really know. It's not very important to me. I didn't have a TV in my room and it wasn't that important. You don't really need a fridge if you're in LLC one or LLC two because there is one on each hall, I guess, if you want one. I don't know if it's even allowed. I just wouldn't, I, I'm not going to. There's one on the end of the hall, write your name on everything in the fridge, you'll be okay. Except it's so annoying when someone eats your food. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, it's like, 
why? Like that just feels super violent. I had a rug in my room because even though it was my room, it felt kind of grimes to, to, to be on the floor barefoot. So having a rug right underneath my bed was really nice. As for toiletries, people with uteruses, I would suggest stockpiling pads and or tampons. I would just do that because it was really annoying sometimes when I was like, oh, I'll be okay. You weren't okay. I brought a lot and it was, you're gonna use them eventually. Like it's not like you're gonna run out anytime soon in your youth. So just stockpile. <laughs> I have a weak tummy, so antacids, Tums, they were my friends. Aspirin, Tylenol, Benadryl, yeah. Uh, mosquito bites were kicking me in my side. Vitamins, I do elderberry every day. Uh, biotin, that was nice. Bandages and antibiotic ointment, I'd be slipping, I'd be falling. Cough drops, absolutely. A shower caddy, yeah. So my shower caddy was just like a hard plastic one. I know some people do like soft ones that fold up, but hard plastic was best for me. Shower shoes, just flip flops from Walmart. Don't invest in like nice ones. Just get some flip flops from Walmart and it works perfectly fine. Hair products, obviously. Face soap, bath soap, toner for your face, moisturizer, you know, the drill, toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, comb and brush, tweezers. Nail clippers. You know, I brought a hair dryer and a straightener and a hot comb, but also a lot of people do bring that. So if you don't have one, I wouldn't say go out and buy one, but if you do have one, you want to bring it doesn't hurt anybody. Razor, yeah. Cotton swabs, absolutely. Cotton swabs and cotton balls, very helpful. So as for clothing, don't bring everything because you're not gonna wear everything. I overpacked way too much and now I'm gonna have half of the room that I had originally, so this is not gonna be fun, but uh, bring stuff that you absolutely know you're gonna wear and also pack responsibly, so like, um, you don't need all your winter coats, in my opinion, for this semester. I could be super wrong, but like November, December, we're not there for a lot of December. Um, so it's gonna be hot, right? Um, fall is a little bit cooler, but it's still warm. So like, don't bring all your winter coats. Just bring like one reliable one, I suppose. Put it in that trunk that you're gonna bring, yeah. I would say gloves, boots, scarves, um, stuff of that nature. Uh, a swimsuit, definitely. Um, also for clothing, Spelman students. Uh, a white dress, stockings, and black shoes. Definitely white dress ceremony. I'm, you're gonna wear it. You're gonna wear it. Bring at least one thing that you could do for a business casual interview or a meeting. Bring a pair of comfortable walking shoes, like workout shoes. Like yes, you have your sneakers that you look great in, but a pair of shoes that you could like, not hike in, but like exercise in. You feel? As for kitchen items, all purpose cleaner. So like Microband 24, but also like um, Lysol, that kind of stuff. Febreze also. Um, plastic storage bags, absolutely. Food storage containers, you're gonna have leftovers. Ants and cockroaches definitely exist, so you need to pack your food up. Um, dish soap, absolutely. Wet wipes, absolutely. Tissues, bowls, plates, and mugs, so like hard plastic that is microwave safe, for sure. A water bottle, I bought a Hydro Flask that was 32 ounces, amazing. Um, silverware, definitely. And, um, Tin foil. So yeah, that is the non-exhaustive, overly exhaustive list. Um, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, absolutely drop a comment. I'm here to help. I'm so excited, Spellman 25, to meet you. It's gonna be a lot of fun on campus. If you're an AUC student. Um, if you're an AUC student, drop down below, say hey. That's it for me. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. See you on campus. Bye.